All right, uh, welcome to building modern APIs with RESTful and I'm Mateo and I want to show you how in the last video I got an error when I wanted to get rid of this ID field and uh, I'm gonna show you how I got that error. So I removed from the public fields the ID and when you're using J and I got a, an error so when you're using JSON API you are probably going to need an ID because as you can see here there's an ID property and uh, for entities it's pretty obvious that it's going to be the entity ID but it's not always going to be like that because uh, you could be using the UUID module and by using the UUID module you may want to not use the ID property as this uh, ID key so instead uh, I'm gonna show you one of the things that you can use with with the field declarations and uh, sorry and we are going to modify the ID with the allowed methods oops so basically what uh, we are uh, saying here is that we don't want to remove the the ID field we just want to not show up so uh, there's a key that says allowed methods and this is going to take an array with the HTTP methods that are allowed so I can do get post patch etc so by default uh, if you don't specify the allowed methods you're going to have every field to be available for all methods but as you can guess um, you probably don't want to have right access into the entity ID property so uh, even if someone is sending you data saying that hey uh, this is the new contents for this particular node and change the the node ID to be 24 uh, that should be not allowed so uh, you should not have access in this field for the right methods so something like that so by setting this to get what I'm saying is that I'm giving it right access so if you if we don't want this to show up here for the ID field we just need to remove this so by making it an empty array it should go away um, all right I uh, need to make sure that I got the name of the key right so um, going to go here and peek a little bit mm, no it's called methods sorry about that okay methods and now it's gone and we don't get that error anymore so uh, yeah uh, that is that is certainly useful if you want to uh, have one field that's only available in cer for certain HTTP methods uh, use this use this key so uh, imagine that you just want the history to be writable but not to be in the output uh, you could do Oops, methods and then array okay and request interface I have uh, this method declared as constants here and I like to use the constants but feel free to use just the name put and patch uh, right so with this you do you will not see it in the output but it will be allowed in the input so now if I refresh history should be gone and it is cool it works nice um, I guess that uh, this is it I just put back the history field because uh, we want it there and we're going to continue to move on as expected thank you